it's not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred with dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error or shortcoming, who at the worst, if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who never know victory nor defeat. And that's said by Theodore Roosevelt, and I came to know that from Brené Brown. Hey guys, welcome back to Mindset Managed and welcome back to the Confidence Building Challenge. Today we're talking about the arena, which is what Brene Brown uh, coined. She calls it the arena when she talks about vulnerability, when she talks about striving for something that's a bit icky, uncomfortable and uncertain. Um, the reason I'm talking about this in terms of confidence is because I believe that one, it takes confidence to continue being in the arena, and two, being in the arena helps you to build confidence. So firstly, the arena is basically any time in your life where you are vulnerable, where you're striving for something, where you're on display. If you are a creative person like me, then you will definitely be in the arena at some point in your life. If you're somebody who's like an entrepreneur or something, then you'll definitely be in the arena because you're having to put yourself out there, basically. And as she says, in, in all of her talks and as uh, Theodore Roosevelt says, it's really interesting that the people on the sidelines, the people watching you, are the critics, but those people aren't the people in the arena. Those people aren't the people who know what it feels like to do what you're doing. And so it's very easy for them to criticise when they haven't ever faced what it's like to be bloody and sweaty, to be facing defeat every single day, right? And as Brene Brown says, you should not listen to the critics and that the only person, like she says, who can give her feedback is the people who are in the arena too. And more often than not, the people in the arena will not be the people criticising you, never negatively anyway. They'll either try to help you or they'll cheer for you or they'll just stand beside you whilst you're in that, that icky, painful, vulnerable stage, right? Because they know how it feels to be where you are or to do what you're doing. This is why you need to be your own cheerleader. You need to have your own back whilst you're in the arena because a lot of the times it'll be the so, it'll be so loud around the sidelines of the critics who are watching you, who will point out that you've done this wrong, you've done that wrong. And you can't let it knock your confidence. You can't let it steer you off course. You can't let it be enough that you get out of the arena. So instead, you need to be your own cheerleader and you need to find other people who are on the same path who can cheer for you too. You need to have compassion for yourself and self-love along this journey and that will help you to keep your confidence. Stop looking at yourself as a failure, as somebody who's making mistakes, as somebody who should be further on your journey by now, somebody who's been watched and criticised and judged. Instead, have love and gain perspective and realise that you know what, you're doing okay. It's not such a big deal. Like, people don't care about what you find so embarrassing as much as you think that they do. Okay, so you need to have that compassion for yourself. That compassion that you give to other people, give it to yourself as well. We put so much pressure on ourselves to fit a standard of who we should be, of being this spectacle. Because we're being watched, because we're on display, we're thinking that we have to be perfect. We can never make a mistake. But the thing is, I know for, my, for myself that I feel encouraged by seeing other people fail, but get back up and try again anyway. You need to be that person for yourself and for others as well. If you are doing something that makes you on display, have that confidence in yourself, have that compassion for yourself and say, it's okay that I face the failure and it doesn't matter that people are watching, instead the right people will understand that failure is a part of the path, it's a part of the journey, not a, an obstacle against it, and that you're okay to dust yourself off, have a little cry if you need to, but get back up and be resilient. The next thing you need to do is to ask yourself, why am I here? Why are you in the arena? Why are you on display? Are you doing this because you actually want to? Because it's part of you? Because you enjoy the process? Or are you doing it because you think that's what you should do? Because you think that, oh, the cool people are doing these kinds of things. 
Because I'm telling you now, the arena is not easy. And like I say, you need to have a certain level of confidence to be in the arena every day. And you need to recognise that being in the arena builds confidence. So I definitely say to everybody that you need to step into the arena at least at some point in your life. And definitely don't be critical of the people who are in the arena who are failing in front of you. Instead, show compassion towards those people. But also, ask yourself why. And know that why and use that why and keep to that why whilst you're in the arena in order to not let your confidence be shook by the critics on the sidelines. Ask yourself, can I be happy and confident whilst I'm in the process of this? Is it worth the beatdown that I'm going to receive along the way? Are you fueled enough, resilient enough, passionate enough and motivated enough to do this long term? Because if the answer is no, if you're doing this for the wrong reasons, if, if this isn't truly part of you and passionate of, a passion of yours and something that you want, then you will be shook. The arena could make you be beat down and unconfident and lack that why inside of yourself. But instead, if you have a strong why, instead if you know why you got into the arena in the first place, instead if you are so passionate about what you're doing that it doesn't matter what anybody else says, it doesn't matter how many times you get beaten down, you're still going to get back up, then you will be a confident person because you're confident in the reason why you got in the arena and you're building the confidence every day that you remain in the arena. I know that might have sound, sounded a bit confusing there, I hope that you kept up with me, but basically what I'm saying is that you need to be sure of why you're in the arena and have confidence confidence in that reason why you're in the arena and two you need to be so sure that you want to do this you need to enjoy the process along the way in order to take those beatings take that criticism take those failures and instead use it as strength use it as confidence use it as stepping stones towards that goal that you're striving for and as obviously Theodore Roosevelt and Brene Brown said it's not the critic who counts it's about the guy who's in the arena so take note of the fact that you deserve to be confident you deserve to pat yourself on the back if you are in the arena because my god you are so much braver than the people who are trying to tear you down i'll speak to you tomorrow guys here's today's challenge hey guys so your challenge for today should you choose to accept it is to write your badass bitch list i already spoke about this before i've got my list right over there on my door and i want you to write a list of all your achievements all the things that make you feel good all of your best traits your strengths all the things you've overcome whatever you want just get it all there on a list i want you to fill at least an a4 page don't write big don't use big fonts <laughs> but fill an a4 page and then it would work best if you can pin it up at somewhere where you can see it all the time to look at that list and realize that you are a badass bitch and you do deserve to look at your accomplishments with confidence and realize that you know what you're a pretty awesome human being and you have value and you have strengths and you have things to give this world okay so please make your lists and share them with me of course i would love to see them um so just comment them below or share them on social media i would love to see them speak to you tomorrow bye